Attention, everyone! Anyone want to be Nato's girlfriend? Uh, are any of you interested in a geek like me? Summer of freshman year in high school. I was looking for someone who would volunteer to be my girlfriend in class. How did I end up here? Undoubtedly, I'll be looking back on these days as some of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I've never had a girlfriend in my life. I didn't even have any friends in my class because I was such an introvert. The only person who ever talked to me was my childhood friend, Miki. We coincidentally started going to the same high school, and ended up in the same class. What are you thinking about? About how nice it would be to have a girlfriend. Three months after entering high school, we were approaching summer vacation, and I was complaining to Miki as we walked to school together. Well, why not try? What about you look for someone in this class? None of the other girls even talk to me. I've known Miki long enough to know what that grin means. She's thinking of a good way to tease me. I don't want to say something stupid and have these guys hate me even more either. You're already at the bottom of the food chain. You got nothing to lose. They'll think it's just the introvert's last stand and laugh it off. I don't want to just be a clown for everyone to laugh at. Oh, come on. I got your back. Trust me. No, please. Don't make me do this. I already knew that my pleas wouldn't reach her. Once Miki makes up her mind about something, she never changes her mind. She'll do anything to get a good laugh out of making fun of me. She's a professional mocker of sorts. Attention, everyone! Raise your hand if you want to be Naoto's girlfriend. No, are we seriously doing this? What the hell are you anyways? No one even knows your name, you John Doe! Yeah, no one's interested, you geek! My classmates just heckled and laughed at me. See? Everyone's enjoying this. What was the point of this? Come on, you try to, Naoto. This might at least help you make some friends, right? Ah, oh, damn it! I've reached the point of no return. Screw it! I'm looking for a girlfriend right now! I'm just a geek that loves animals and there isn't much I can brag about. But please, raise your hand if you'll have me! Dead silence. Oh crap. I think I just ended my entire high school life. I was regretting it more and more by the second. But a few seconds passed, and one of the girls raised her hand. Here, Karen Mizuki. I'd like to volunteer to be your girlfriend, Naoto. Huh? What? What? Instantly, the room went wild. The girl who raised her hand was the most popular girl in school, Karen Mizuki. She was gorgeous and had a great personality. It was rumored that she already had been asked out by over a hundred guys since entering this high school. Oh, nice one, Karen. I'm serious. Hey, Naoto, I don't think you're good enough for her. You should say no. Yeah, but... Karen didn't give me much time to even think about it. She got up and walked up to me. So, will you be my boyfriend, Naoto? Uh, yeah. Sure. Karen? Why are you volunteering yourself to be that geek's girlfriend? Yeah, seriously, you're so much better than him. The classroom was thundering with everyone's disapproval. However... Stop talking badly about my boyfriend! <laughs> Karen silenced the room in one breath. Naoto, let's exchange numbers. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Text me a bunch, okay? And let's eat lunch together today. Yes, please. Why is Karen so enthusiastic? I hope she's not just messing with me. Ugh, it's not going to work out anyways. I'm the only one who likes you, Naoto. Wanna walk home together, Naoto? Um, yes. Miki, I'm going home with Karen today, okay? Whatever. You better watch out, though. If you put your hands on her, you're gonna have a bunch of enemies in no time. I wouldn't do such a thing. Okay, shall we? Yes, let's go. Jeez, he's all excited. Well, enjoy it while it lasts. The next morning... Oh, Miki, good morning. Good morning. Is Naoto ready yet? Huh? Naoto left a while ago. He said he was meeting someone. What? He said he was meeting his girlfriend. Is it true he has a girlfriend now? Yeah, that's true. She's in our class. Oh, okay. 
But he has you already, Miki. What are you talking about? We're just childhood friends. Well, I have to go now too. Okay. Take care. Thanks. Ugh, I can't believe they're walking to school together. He should have given me a heads up at least. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Naoto. No problem. I just got here too. Thanks for walking with me. No, it's my pleasure. It's flattering that you would want to walk with someone like me. Okay, no more of that kind of talk, alright? Huh? You're my boyfriend now, Nato. Don't say things like that to belittle yourself. Have more confidence. But... I'm on your side, Nato. No matter what anyone says, you're the one I like, Nato. Oh, thank you. Also, you can relax and act more naturally around me. I'm just a normal girl. And we're boyfriend and girlfriend now, right? I'll do my best. And... hold my hand? Huh? Oh, okay. I still can't believe it. The most popular girl at my school is walking besides me. We ate lunch together yesterday, and we talked so much on our way home, too. After I got home, I talked to her on the phone and exchanged text messages. It was beginning to feel more real to me, but one question remained. Why me? Naoto, I made lunch for you too, like I promised. I hope you like it. Thanks, Karen. Okay, open up. No, no, I can eat by myself. Come on, let me do this. Please? Uh, How is it? Oh, good. Oh, thank God. Let me know if you have any requests. I'll try my best to make them for you. Thanks, Karen. Ugh. It won't last long. It won't. Later. I left the house a little bit early to meet up with Karen. But when I opened the door, Miki was standing there. Morning, Nato. Miki? What are you doing here so early? I thought I'd walk halfway with you. Okay, sure. It feels like it's been a while since I walked with Miki, even though it's only been two weeks. Looks like things are going well with Karen, Nato. Yeah, about that. I was so surprised at first. But once we started talking, I realized how normal she was. It's only been two weeks, but high school life is so much fun now compared to what it used to be. Cool. Good for you. It's all thanks to you, Miki. Yeah, don't you forget that. You really never were any good on your own, Naoto. I'm really grateful. I even have a date this weekend. Huh? Yeah. Karen invited me. She said that she wants to spend time with me on the weekends, too. Oh! Is that so? Good for you. <laughs> He's all excited and everything. Miki? What's wrong? Are you mad? No, not at all. I'll go now. Don't want to get in the way of you lovebirds. Huh? Miki? Jeez. I'm sick of hearing him brag about their relationship. This wasn't how I planned it. I just wanted him to see that I was the only one for him. Okay. He's in the bathroom. Now's my chance. Karen, can you come with me? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Sure. But do we really need to change spots? I don't want the others to hear. Okay, then. Karen, I want you to be honest with me. What's so great about Naoto? That came out of the blue. If you're just playing him, I want you to break up with him. I don't want him to get hurt. I'm not. I really do like him. But why? He's like a super introverted geek. He's got no friends, he's always jittery, and he gets nervous when he talks to people. He's not even that handsome or anything. You can do better. Why are you talking so badly of him? I'm just trying to say that you can do better. What do you mean? Well, you're so popular, you can choose pretty much whoever you want. There's no need to choose a geeky guy like... You're not the only one who notices how amazing Nato is, Miki. <gasps> Nato loves animals. Whenever he sees a hurt animal, he can't ignore it. When he sees someone in need in town, he helps them out. He has a gentle and caring heart. Wait, how do you know? 
I was content with just watching him from a distance because I knew that you like him, Miki. But that day, you tried to make a fool of him. That's why I decided to step up. What? I didn't know. I thought I was the only one who knew Nato that well. I didn't realize that there was anyone else who noticed him. Please, give Nato back to me. Nato isn't an object. I'm sorry, okay? Just give me my Nato back. Miki? Wait, why are you here, Nato? When I got back to class, I couldn't find either of you. One of the guys in class told me that you took Karen with you, and I got concerned. But what you guys were just talking about, is that- Sorry, Nato. Actually, I've liked you for a long time now. But you never noticed me, and you started telling me how you wanted a girlfriend, so... So I wanted you to see how I was the only one who you could ever be with. Are you talking about how you put me in front of the class that day? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I didn't think that it would turn out like this. But I like you now, Toe. So I want you to give me another chance. Another chance? But we weren't even dating. You're my boyfriend, right, Nato? Karen? A soft marshmallow on my arm. Nothing to worry about, Nato. It's not like she's your ex-girlfriend or anything. You guys are just childhood friends. I'm your first and only girlfriend, Nato. Karen was pressing up on me almost as if she was showing it off to Miki. And as I expected, when I looked at Miki, her face looked angry. Naoto, the only reason why she's your girlfriend is thanks to me, right? Basically, you can't do anything without me. That's why you're mine. Miki came and grabbed my other arm. What's going on right now? What a patronizing thing to say. I've been by your side all this time, Naoto. I understand you better than anyone. The past is the past. What's important is right here, right now. Nato and I are going to create a future together. Huh? Nato, you're my boyfriend, right? Nato, I'm the one who stood by you all these years, right? Nato, Nato! Um, uh. Make up your mind. What's going on? I haven't even had a girlfriend until recently. I can't deal with two girls at once. God, if you're up there, please help me.